Hello everyone, my name is Alpatrin D'Souza and I will be teaching you how to record an upright grand piano using a stereo setup with two microphones. The mics that I'll be using are condensers obviously. I will be using an MXL 550 and an MXL 551. The MXL 550 is what's called a vocal condenser microphone. The MXL 551 is an instrument microphone. The 550 is more suited to the lower end of the sound spectrum while the 551 is suited for the higher end of the sound spectrum. The 550 is what we'll be using to record the bass side of the piano, the 551 the high side of the piano. So along with these mics you will be needing pretty much your mic stands, your uh, mic holders, shock mounts if you have them. The audio interface that I will be using is a Focusrite Scarlett 2i4. It has two inputs and four outputs. It also has uh, MIDI inputs, which you don't exactly count as sound inputs. It has gain knobs for each input, a knob for uh, adjusting the output of the entire mix, a knob for monitoring, and a knob for headphones. In this case, you will not want to be monitoring your mix using speakers because of feedback obviously so you will be needing a pair of good quality headphones in this case I'm using Audio Technica M50s you will have to be monitoring your mix during the recording process and after it as well now let's jump right into it remove the upper panel of the piano Remove the lid as well. Set up the mic stands as shown. Mount the vocal condenser on the left hand side. The instrument mic goes onto the right. Don't forget to keep both mics at the same level vertically and at the same distance about one foot from the piano horizontally. Point them both to the source, which is the point of contact between the hammers and the strings, about one and a half feet from the outer edges of the piano. Keep the audio interface and your lap laptop or recording device within arm's reach. Plug in the right hand side instrument mic to the right input channel. The left hand side vocal mic goes into the left input channel. Turn on the 48 volt phantom power. Adjust your levels to the desired range keeping in mind that the red clipping zones should be avoided. Try to nail the stereo balance before the recording itself. But don't worry too much about the panning balance. It can be adjusted later in your DAW as per your requirements.